Chris Ramsay's wife Rosie previously admitted she was shocked at how well he did while on Strictly Come Dancing. Now, it's the shit. Married. Annoyed podcasters turned to take to the BBC show's dance floor as she was the first star to be confirmed as taking part in this year's Strictly Come Dancing Christmas special. Strictly bosses shared the exciting news on Twitter, writing, It's time to unwrap our first Christmas special celeb. Welcome Fabulous presenter and podcaster Rosie Ramsey to hashtag Strictly. Rosie, 36, has been partnered with professional dancer Neil Jones, however, Rosie revealed she isn't taking her time on the show too seriously. It's just a bit of fun, especially when it's Christmas. If it was the real competition I'd be worried, Rosie said as she was asked by the BBC how she would rate herself as a dancer. She will, more than likely, be getting some dancing tips from her comedian husband Chris, 36, who took part in Strictly in 2019 and finished in fourth place. Here, the couple tells us about their marriage and how Rosie felt when Chris took part in Strictly. Bickering is a normal part of any relationship, but Chris and Rosie forged a career out of sharing their rose with the world, and even get stopped in the street to discuss them. The celebrity couple have revealed a beef they have about her stacking the dishwasher at random like a shot putter is the most common one strangers want to chat about. Strictly semi-finalist Chris and singer Rosie launched their podcast Shitched. Married. Annoyed shortly before he joined the dance show with pro partner Karen Hauer in 2019. And their sarky, sparky chats, often, bordering on duels, have propelled them to the top of the download charts, with 65 million hits to date, and a 12 Arena UK tour, starting in September. During the lockdown, the couple were stopped a lot as they strolled around their hometown of South Shields, Tyne, and Ware, often by people wearing headphones listening to their rows. And it seems many share the dishwasher woes, while others contact them to say they have a weekly beef to air annoyances. Their bickering have even sparked rows among other celebrity couples. Chris previously told The Mirror, We were interviewed by Eamon and Ruth once and talking about our beefs and they just took off, they didn't even need us there they just started arguing. I think Eamon then said, this is your future. There's worse futures to have, that's fine. People love seeing a glimpse of a relationship, you do want to see behind closed doors. I really enjoy the Ruth and Eamon vibe, how they have little digs at each other. Would they like to be the next Eamon and Ruth, or Richard and Judy? Stand-up comedian Chris replied with a laugh, you'd have to put us on after the watershed, that's all I'll say. Rosie added, we are a normal couple who argue and fight and that's life. We live in a world of social media where people only put their highlights reels out and you think how perfect is that. Listeners say they have started airing their grievances in a funny, honest way with their partner and I think that's a really healthy thing to do. Chris was even gently teased about his stint on Strictly by Rosie, and even he admitted he never thought he would get past more than a week or so. She told him with a chuckle, no one was more shocked than me at how far you went. The only routine he can remember is the street dance he performed to Let's Get Ready to Rumble. He said, I kept none of the ballroom, the Latin, my body forgot it at the end of the results show every week. I didn't get to the semi-finals because of my dancing, it was because I'm from the Northeast. Everyone knows about the strictly curse of broken relationships, but it never struck Chris and Rosie. She was never worried about Karen, 
who trained with him in the Northeast and came round for dinner. Chris and Rosie met when they were 14. They later went to the same college, but barely spoke. Chris admitted, Rosie was out of my league. In 2012 they bumped into each other at a local nightclub and got chatting. His career in stand-up was burgeoning, and she was a singer in a girl group. Rosie had also been to Fontaine's Blue Coat, toured in cabaret and worked as a radio DJ. Both from working-class backgrounds, they bonded over their shared performing careers. Chris said, what you have is two childhood show-offs who followed it into later life and made a career out of it. The pair won Best Podcast Gong at the 2020 Global Awards in London. Now with kids of their own, Robin, 6, and Rafe, 1, the podcast seemed a natural way for them to work together. Chris admitted he is the more highly strung of the two. Not so much sad clown, as panicky clown. He said, Rosie is definitely a more positive person than me. She added, I'm the picker-upper of the relationship. This is going to sound weird as we're married, but the maternal instinct kicks in, I'm just a better coper. Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at webcelebs at trinitamirror.com or call us direct 207 29